So now gold is working. I got stopped out of my nugget like what two days ago. Roku is down what almost 80%. That's epic. I know people have held on to this stock for their life and totally ignored valuations. But valuations matter. They don't matter until they matter. That's why us traders have it uh, have an easy life. We can just follow sell rules. We don't have to worry about these types of things. We don't have to use our brains as much. I saw some crazy DraftKings numbers. I have to I have to recheck the numbers. But if I read this right, they're losing for every dollar in sales, they're losing two dollars. Now, I'm not a Warren Buffett, but that doesn't sound good. Yeah, DraftKings getting shredded. Yeah, they're all kind of continuing lower from their um, bear flag type of a thing. Is what's Ark doing? Yeah, I was thinking about shorting Ark yesterday. I, I I shorted TQQ and Tesla, but in hindsight, maybe I should have done more. Like I I I really want to panic. Get some panic into the major indices, so we can get a multi-month sustainable bounce. Now we had a little bit of a. Well, the bounce really didn't last for long. It was like a three-day bounce, four-day bounce. But we can, if we, if the queues can, you know, go quickly down to like to, into the two hundreds, that could potentially set up a multi-month bounce. Yeah, TTD man, this thing wants to go higher. This thing is not, you know, it actually made a fifty-six percent move from the lows. You know, the, there's there's demand for this thing. You know, something like you know Roku. Or Zoom, right? There's no demand. And then you look at something like TTD. They're holding it up. Yeah, DDoc too. DDoc is another one. Airbnb is another one. It's pulling back now. Hopefully it finds support on the moving averages. Go sideways. China is taking a leg lower. Yeah, that's good. It sets up opportunity. This thing set up opportunity. Another leg down to kweb get to the mid 20s low 20s would be great i wonder if roku could be a meaner version trade yeah and the funny thing is if upsd had reported like a week earlier it would have gone to uh that 180s area but now it just reported a few days after before the market started tanking tesla and tqq's tanking nice yeah ggpi is kind of strong damn i missed shopify god Damn it, I hesitated. Classic three day, third day mean versus setup. At least I got Roku. But Roku is not going straight up like um, Shopify. Let's see if this was just another lo uh, higher low attempt in the indices or if this rally is gonna start failing mid late day. UPSD, oh, of course it rebounded. This candle may or may not have been me. No comment. <laughs> No comment. Like we are not gonna get a rally until something happens in the Ukraine situation. There's too much like either the evasion happens or they withdraw their forces. One of those things needs to happen. It's gonna be very choppy. No follow through on anything. Well, there is follow through. There's plenty of follow through on things. But you gotta be quick. And I'm not quick. I don't wanna be quick. But a lot of things had some nice follow through. And you know, I have been more aggressive than I'm usual selling into strength, but it's always like, ah, I should have sold more. <laughs> That's fine. Congrats to those who got their new man. Congrats. This thing is, this thing is, uh, <laughs> That's what a good breakout looks like. Look at the 60 minute at a tight range, range expansion, high volume. And yeah, just straight up, straight up. Great job for those who got it. My twin Johnny Sins always says, Quick is not good. I agree. I, I understand the con uh, the the uh, the uh, context, and uh, I agree. He's an idol of mine. Like I, I don't understand how one man can have so many careers: police officer, firefighter, astronaut, surgeon. It's amazing. It's one of my all-time uh, idols. Pizza guy, uh, man of the people. He's scalping futures. I, I, you know, I bet he is. He's one of the brightest minds. Yes. Stepdad. Yeah, he's a stepdad too. 
green setup yesterday. Uh, yeah, I assume it was a sector EP. I mean, it's decent. If you have a confidence in this EP, sure, it looks good. High volume, range expansion, coming off a long base. You know what Snap reminds me of? It reminds me of Square. Look how Snap keeps getting rejected at the 50. It looks exactly like Square, how it got rejected off the 20. My top money making patterns, my top money making setups are the meaner version ones, the supernovas, like Team Sykes likes to call it. INO is a perfect example of one I made a lot of money on in the past few months. Like here and here, obviously, past two days. Uh, you know, like APT a month or two ago. Um, that's, that's, you know, I don't know if this is not one or two. And then the like earnings breakouts, like SC, uh, when it broke out here, had a big run, I made decent money on it. Then uh, let's say, uh, was it T Doc that I owned? When it broke out, here on earnings these are my top two like earnings breakouts from uh, like long sideways consolidations um those are my top two and pretty much everything else i do are variations of these two setups exactly shorting when they start going down when they have blown off and start going down like backside now i wish i i i, I was only shorting backside to unfortunately i i play with them too much on the front side but yeah in theory you should just play the backside but it's kind of hard to know many times when the backside is when i started making money uh when i started making money consistently i mean uh i mean i don't know 50k 30 no 50k plus when I started making money consistently yeah definitely 50k plus maybe 100k but even before that, I obviously was making money since I took a small account. When I was, a, you know, like eight, I, I remember May 2013. I remember it because I shorted Fannie Mae this day. This day here, top, this is a two day chart. But I was down to like 8,000 bucks in my accounts. Okay. I had been trading for two years. I had I blew up like three times. I borrowed money and also took some from my savings to, you know, refinance my trading accounts. I was down to 8,000 bucks. And on this day, I increased my accounts by 50%. I went from 8K to 12K. And that was kind of the turning point. After that point, I, I, that, that's when I stopped losing money consistently. And I didn't become constantly or consistently pro I mean, i'm still not consistently profitable i can have you know three six month periods where i make little or no money happens almost every year so it's you know it's kind of hard to say it's kind of hard to answer that question